The sun was nearly up, when a rumbling, trembling sensation was felt under the feet of our troops in the vicinity of the ill-fated fort. At the same time, a dark gray mass was seen ascending in the air to an altitude of about 50 feet, where, at its fullest height, seemed to remain stationary for an instant. Then came down in an awful crash, creating a cloud of dust that was some moments in settling. As the fort was viewed in its ascent and descent, it plainly showed the havoc that had befell it. Headless trunks, arms, legs, all parts of the human frame were mingled with pieces of broken gun carriages, guns, blankets. I was suddenly awakened by a heavy jar and found myself almost buried in the dirt. I was first under the impression that a 64 pound mortar shell had struck the bomb proof. As the timbers overhead had been thrown apart and the dirt was pouring in, suddenly, the enemy opened up with 200 guns on our lines, which shook the hills and made the glass fall out of the windows in the city a mile and a half away. When I awoke, it seemed to me that the whole world was going to pieces. I started to rise up and was hurled to the ground so violently that I lost consciousness. When I came to myself again, I saw masses of earth and pieces of large timbers lying all around me and was covered up from head to foot with earth and debris. Commemorate the 150th anniversary of the Battle of the Crater, July 30th through August 2nd. Visit petersburgarea.org for all the details.